Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error d3dx11 underscore 42.dll not found in your Windows machine. Now, a couple of times you might come across this error message when you're trying to open an application or you're trying to launch any games on your computer. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to go ahead and update your video card driver. To do this, you will have to open the device manager by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on device manager. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the device manager open on your computer, you will have to go ahead and locate for display adapters. You can go ahead and expand the display adapters. Now here you can do a right click on display adapters and click on scan for hardware changes. And at the same time, in case if you have more than two graphic cards, you may go ahead and update the display adapters for both. So what you could do is you could do a right click on the default graphic card and then click on update driver under this you will see an option which says search automatically for the drivers and then click on close and at the same time follow the same step for the second display adapters do a right click and then click on update driver click on search automatically for drivers and then click on close once this is done you may close this window and then do a right click on the start button and then click on settings to update the windows. Once you are on the settings, you may go ahead and click on windows update on the left hand side and check if there are any updates to be installed on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on check for the updates. So basically what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are any updates to be installed on the computer. Now, in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer, install those updates and at the same time once you install those updates you may go ahead and click on advanced option under advanced option you will also go ahead and look for additional options and see if there are any optional updates available now in case if there are any optional updates available you will see the options additional updates being available here click on it go ahead and download and install those updates Close the computer or close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now this should definitely fix the problem. Now in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem. Now the next step what you could, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and perform DISM and SFC scan on the computer. To do this you will have to open command prompt. So in the search window you may go ahead and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the command prompt open, you can copy the command from the video description and do a right click or paste it here. The command is to restore health using a DISM tool. Hit enter. Once you hit enter, this will go ahead and execute the restore health DISM command on the computer. You will have to wait until you see a message saying that the operation completed successfully. It might take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes. Once you have executed the DISM tool restore health command on your computer, uh, the next command what you will have to go ahead and run is SFC scan. So you will have to go ahead and type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. So this will take about another five to 10 minutes to completely execute this command. Once you have, once this command has been successfully executed, you would see the percentage complete. You may go ahead and close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step, what I would suggest you to do is to go ahead and reinstall the DirectX on the computer. To do this, you will have to open the browser and go to our official Microsoft website to go ahead and download and install DirectX. I will also mention this website in the video description. Once you are on this website, you will have to scroll down, choose the language of the DirectX. By default, it would be English. In case if you are on a region where you use the language other than English, you can select it from the drop down list and then click on download. Once you download this setup, you can execute this setup to install DirectX on the computer. Follow the step by step instruction. Restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now, all these steps should definitely fix the problem. So, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.